So I guess for me the story starts uh, Christmas 2017. Um, that's probably the heaviest I ever was. I woke up, I'm just feeling sore, and I was like, why am I sore? I didn't do anything extraneous or bad yesterday. It was just a regular day, and realized I was, my body had probably crushed itself overnight. That's why I was so sore. And so that was kind of like a, wow, how big am I gonna get? And I was 438 pounds at that time. And then this chair I'm sitting in was actually a birthday present from my mom two years ago. She, I saw her, I loved it, but it actually had a weight restriction on it of about 280 pounds. So I couldn't sit in the chair, I mean I could, but my stomach was over top of the, the handlebars here, so or the armrests I should say. And the new year started, our company had just got bought out by a different company into it. And they had this program that they just worked with a nutritionist coach. So I said, well, why not? Let's just see what they have to say. And so I started working with them and they didn't cha they didn't judge me. That's the biggest thing. They didn't judge me at all. They just said, you know, what are you eating now? We'll start following it and we'll tell you a plan to go from there. So I'll just go through it. So basically I'll come in here each day. I'll get a protein shake and two yogurts. Put these guys here for my daily meal for lunch. And then at the same time, I wanted to work out because I knew that when you lose weight, you're gonna have extra skin. So I figured if I can build the muscle at the same time, maybe that won't happen to me. And fortunately it still did, but um, building habits is the biggest thing, drinking water and just having a healthy attitude. So I do exercise a bunch. Um, I pretty much try to get at least an hour a day in every day now. Um, it started out that I had to take like two or three ibuprofen just to go walk for 20 minutes because I was so big. And so I started like that, 20 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes next week. Two weeks from now, let's do 45 minutes. And that's just walking. And then I start walking longer, then the walking started to jogging. Now I can do like, you know, 26 mile bike rides each day and I feel fine and I want to do more. But unfortunately, the side effect of that is when you lose weight and you were so big, you have so much extra skin on your body to cover up what you're carrying, is that as you go down, your skin can't retract as fast as it would if you were like, you know, in your teens. So even though I had all this stuff and it's gone now, all the extra stuff that was holding together, the skin just hangs down. And so I made a claim to my insurance company, um, but unfortunately it's deemed cosmetic. And then a couple of friends at work said, do a GoFundMe. I'm like, I feel really weird asking for money. I mean, this is, I was as big as I was, it's my fault because I ate so much food. It's my fault, bad habits. So I feel awkward asking someone to give me money to get this surgery. And they put it like this, like you've done the work, you put it off. Yes, you got there, but you also got it off. And so why not see if someone wants to help you out? Maybe they can. And they did, and so that was able to raise $12,000 for this surgery to get this part done. I'm not a crier, um, but when you wake up, when you see that your campaign's been funded in six days by the people you work with, I, I started crying. I had to go to a room off the floor for a bit because I couldn't handle it. And I just hope someday I have the means and I have the ability to pay that forward to someone else because it really is a very humbling experience to see you know, over 100 people that you work with say, we got you.